Okay, Math Nines, welcome back. Um, in this video, we'll look at the surface area of objects made from rectangular prisms. Okay, so our focus will be to determine surface area of composite object made from cubes and other right rectangular prisms. Okay, so first of all, a composite object, that is just two or more shapes. Two or more shapes um, put together. Okay, so this example on the left, this is showing uh, two rectangular prisms. Maybe let's draw a little dividing line here. Um, this is what we'll talk about today, uh, where we have uh, composite objects made from cubes and rectangular prisms. And the next video, we'll look at um, adding in cylinders and triangular prisms into there. Okay, so just a couple of examples here. Uh, determining the surface area uh, is just adding up the areas of um, all of the faces. So this shape is made with unit cubes. So what a unit cube means is that it means that each face is one, and we'll give it units of centimeters. That means that this is one centimeter and this base is one centimeter. So the area of each face, and I'll do this on the yellow one, the area of each face is just going to be one times one or one centimeter squared. So the area of each face is just going to be one centimeter squared. One centimeter squared. Okay, so I'm going to erase those and then I'm going to come back and and just think to myself, um, hey, let's just start um, adding up or seeing how many faces we have. So if we're looking at the front, the front of this thing, we're going to have one, two, three, so each face is one centimeter squared, so we have three centimeters squared. If you're looking at this right side, you have one here, but then you also have one back here. Okay, so that's two. And then we also have the same on the left side. So on the left and right, we're going to have two on the left, two on the right. It's going to give us a total of four. Okay, the top and bottom, we can count these up. We have four on the top and four on the bottom. Okay, and then the back side. The back side is going to be uh, the exact same as the the front. So we could have joined these together as I did with the left and right and top and back. But the back side is going to um, also have three units. So surface area is just adding up. All of those, uh, the areas of each face. So 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 3 gives us 7. Plus 8 is 15. Plus 3 is 18 units squared. Or in our case, we said that they were centimeters. So that's going to be 18 centimeters squared. OK, let's try this second example where we're calculating the surface area of the composite shape made with three equal rectangular prisms. OK, so first thing I'll do is uh, just kind of look at the shape and, and just kind of think to myself, OK, well, the each end is a square, so it's 20 by 20. So I think of using these dimensions that are given, the area of uh, one of those squares is going to be 20 times 20, so I'm just going to write that down, or 20 squared, and that's going to be 400, because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many of those things are um, are exposed, or how many of those can I see. And if I look at the, I'm going to call it the left and right sides, uh, there are, uh, there's one that I've just highlighted. Here's another, so that'll be number two, and then three. And then on the other side, back here, to kind of imagine or visualize, well, that's going to be another 3. So that'll be 3 plus 3 of those sides. And then we multiply that by the area of each of those squares, which is 400. So the total area of the left and right sides is going to be 6 times 400, which is 2400 centimeters squared. I'm going to put a circle around that because I'm going to come back and use that number. Okay, so now uh, the uh, sides of this thing, I'm going to figure out a number for that. 
<clears throat> before I count up how many of those there are. And the area of one of those rectangles is going to be, I'll do a little side thing over here, 20 uh, times 60. That area is going to be 1,200. Now I'm just going to count up, and I'm just going to kind of go for a walk over uh, over this, I don't know, staircase looking thing. So the one that I've highlighted, we'll call that side number one. Uh, okay, there's a second one, there's a third, there's a fourth. On the back side there are two, so that's going to be five and six. This bottom one is going to be number seven. This bottom one's going to be number eight. And hey, we've just gone um, all around this object. So there are eight rectangles that have an area of 1,200 centimeters squared. So I'm just going to put a little comment here saying, hey, all of the sides, there are going to be eight things that have an area of 1,200. Eight times 1,200 is 9,600. So my total surface area is going to be the sum of those two numbers, or 9,600 plus 2,400 which is a grand total of 12,000 centimeters squared. Okay. Okay, so to wrap up the big idea of this section that is going to be defined, the surface area of composite shapes. Okay, and in this section, we're looking at composite shapes using just rectangular prisms, uh, and then the next one, we'll, we'll look at some other harder shapes, but I'll just leave the, the big idea there is, hey, we're finding surface area of, uh, of composite shapes. Okay, our assignment, uh, textbook assignment for this section will be from page 30. Let's do 4, 8, 10, and 11. Okay, I hope that gets you started. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.